I have this very quick and easy video to show you how to create a V neck band on any of the garments that you are creating. So if you have something with a round neck and you would like to transform it into a V neckline, then keep on watching this video. I'm here today to share with you this quick and easy video for you to learn how I was able to change a sewing pattern that had a round neck into a v-neck and I hope you follow my step-by-step -step guide so you will get well on that way to create your own v-necks. By the way I'm Juliet Uzo of SoSoNatural.com and if you are into creating your own clothes, owning a style, shamelessly and fearlessly showcasing them for everyone to see then don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, so I started off by deciding how deep I wanted my v-neck to be. But actually, do you know, thinking about it now, I think I should have gone a bit deeper. I was just treading on the cautious side, but yeah. Um, you'll notice that I went with um, a bit of a curve on my v-neck. I don't like sharp lines on necklines, but yes. So it's got just a very slight curve. So the next thing to do is to join your shoulder seams you join them together and then take them to the machine and give them a nice um, stitch on my sewing machine you can you can't see it here but i used a stretch stitch for my seams So when the seams are nicely pressed open, the next thing to do is to measure along the neckline. It's a little thing that I like to do. I like to mark on my measuring tape using a pencil and I can always rub it out as I go. Because sometimes those tiny little increments can be quite confusing. So as you can see now, I've decided on how wide I want my neckband to be and <laughs> I doubled it. So. Decide on how wide you want your neckband to be, add some seam allowance and double it. So now I've marked it out and I've created a long rectangle. But that rectangle is not exactly how long my neckline is because I've reduced it by two and a quarter of an inch. This part is really important because, um, you know, neck neck bands always like taper off closer to the neck so you, you don't want it to go up in a straight line you want it to have a tiny little um, taper as it goes up towards the neck so cut out your pieces and cut them out on the fabric when i cut my fabric out i wanted it to have a slight diagonal shape to it. I didn't want it to be exactly um, perfect. I didn't want it to be perfect line. So I had mine slightly tilted, which meant that I needed to reduce my neck band by two and a quarter of an inch because it would have more stretch on the bias. So here I am folding my neckband lengthwise and I am going to stay stitch the V part of it. So the V part of it needs to be stay stitched. And I stitched, I think the stay stitch was about a, quor a quarter of an inch seam allowance just to hold it down together and make sure it doesn't move. So I've also stay stitched along the, the V part of my V neck. So I've stay stitched it as well. And then I need to snip. Yeah, you need to make a little snip that would not cut into that line that you've stay stitched. And um, that would enable um, easy movement of your V. So now I need to mark exactly where my seam is going to be and make sure it goes through that V that I've created by stitch, stay stitching. 
So, if you're getting value from this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so that's the seam allowance. I'm going to have a half an inch seam allowance. That half an inch seam allowance needs to be exactly on that V. So the thread acts as a guideline for me. And with this, it needs to be right sides facing, facing together, by the way. So right sides together. Can you see that I've got my V exactly where I want it to be? This is exactly on the thread. So when you've done that, you can then start to match up your neckband to the actual neckline of your top. Now, um, <laughs> this requires a lot of fussing and a lot of easing. So what I'm doing here is I am determining where half of my neckband is. So you fold it in half, snip, I think I snipped, did I snip? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, um, sometimes I use pins to mark my, to mark fabric when I, I fold them in halves. And sometimes I use pins. So here I have also divided my um, neckband into two parts, not the, neck, the neckline, into halves to identify where half is going to go and the other half will go. I thought I would be able to do some <laughs> stripe matching here, but no, it didn't work. It requires a lot of fussing and a lot of easing, but you know, it's not a problem. The idea behind making your neckband shorter than the actual neckline length, the length of the neckline, is in order to not have your band gaping. And that's the sole purpose of that. So you'd see me doing a lot of fussing here, but yeah, fuss, fuss, fuss until you get everything in. Now, now that I am at the sewing machine, you can see that I am starting off from the actual V. So it's good to do that because you position the needle exactly at that V. And my stitch is a bit shorter because you can see that I've just gone about two or three inches away from the point. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, making sure that my needle is exactly at the V point. So I'm slightly stretching the fabric as I go to ensure that um, I don't have any puckers and no gathering on the neckline. So now you can see that um, the V has formed perfectly. So now we can go ahead to stitch the rest of the neckline. So thinking about it now, I would have gone with a different fabric to create this um, V neck line um, because um, you can see that the stripes on the fabric aren't really matching with my V neck band and um, I mean it's an imperfection that I can get used to so let me know in the comment section if you are a perfect stripes matching kind of lady or if you don't mind having <laughs> imperfect stripes and creating a design feature out of it but anyway it's just a little thing that I picked out of my project but yeah let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this So for more hacks, tips and tricks, here are some more videos so you can get inspired along your sewing journey. I'll see you in my next video and enjoy the rest of your day. All the best. Bye.